Well, well, speaking of crime, organizations are teaming up around Jackson to stop the violence. And 12 News' Morgan Gill spoke to group leaders on their efforts to decrease crime in the capital city. Anointed Soldiers for Christ, Reset Jackson, and Just As You Are Ministry says it's time to put the guns down. Local organizations and the community met in a neighborhood near Nichols Boulevard for a prayer march. Founder of Anointed Soldiers for Christ, Christopher Cooper, says the purpose of the march is to go in the community and promote putting the guns down and saying enough is enough. The march is very important because you got to go back into the heart of what the um, cause is. So we, so we looking at, um, okay, well, we got crime here, we got crime here. What can we do to um, try to detour that crime? First, they got to see somebody that consistent love them. If they don't see nobody that love them, then guess what? If they don't know how to love, then how can they go back out to love? But they got to see love in action. Organizers say they are trying to reach the youth between the ages 13 and 19. I think that over the years, uh, we've been slowly stripped of a lot of our financial resources to this city. And we're seeing things like community centers closed down. We're seeing parks overrun with grass. And until we can get those resources back into the community, we're going to see a lot more poverty situation. And poverty breeds frustration. And frustration breeds anger. And anger breeds reactions. And I think that's where we are. One family says their grandmother, 80-year-old Annie P was killed on April 1st in the same area. They also want the violence to stop. She was laying on the couch in her house, in her own house, and it was a, like, it's, it's terrible. Like, it's very terrible. She was asleep on her, on her couch, minding her own business. And three guys, they got two of them, but it was three of them. We need y'all to bring the other one in so we can all have justice. Attendees hope more people and organizations come together to continue trying to stop the violence in the city of Jackson. Morgan Gill, 12 News.